These are the Oregon Ducks. They're wearing white jerseys, yellow golden headgear, yellow golden trousers, and green stockings. I understand you will do the talk. Calling in the air, Brown, will you call the toss? Heads is called. And it is heads. You have won the toss. Receive Ohio State, and you will defend, defend that goal, and you'll be kicking this way. Getting ready to kick off to Ohio State. Jack Morris will boot it, the deep men for Ohio State on the near side is number 16, Joe Canavino in the middle is Frank Tremblis, 22 to the far side is Dick LeBeau, number 44. And you see Jack Morris, one of the co-captains for the University of Oregon from Eugene, who will boot it off to Ohio State. A beautiful day in sunny Pasadena. Here we go. It's going down to the three-yard line taken by Dick LeBeau. He's to the 15, up to the 20, and down at about the 22 by Bob Peterson. The left end splits out. That's Jim Houston. Bob White, the fullback, cracking across the 25. That play was run against a six-man line. And this time, Bob White again on the drive or belly series and against a tight defense once again the fullback Bob White the sophomore first and ten for Ohio State on its own 31 and the left halfback on the ride series Dick LeBeau Russ Bowermasters in that end and splits out to the right but there is Bob White the fullback again going up to the 40 third and two for Ohio State Almost an eight-man line in there. Left halfback carrying the ball. Don Clark, who just went into the game, gets across the 40 to about the 41, close to a first down. First down, Ohio State. Frank Prembless, the quarterback, number 22. And it's given to Clark after a fake to the fullback on the ride series. No score. A pitch to Clark, getting a block, and there he goes to midfield. He's to the 40 of Oregon. He's to the 30. Don Clark getting a beautiful block in there. First and 10 for Ohio State. Canavino following, getting a block from White, and then being caught and chased. Now he has to come the other way, getting another block beautifully. And still coming, getting away from two men. Keeps his feet at the 40, gets to the 38. Stopped finally by Jerry Kirshner and the loss of eight. Second and 18 for Ohio State, and Clark flanks out to the left. Now on a draw play, White is stopped. The ball on the Oregon 38 and a half yard line. Kremblis passing, and he's got Jim Houston for 20 to the 10, and he is across the five and down at about the two yard line. Two yard line, first down, no scores yet. And there is Kremblis trying to sneak. A favorite play by the Ohio State quarterback. Woody Hayes always said he had a passing attack when he needed one. And Kremblis again sneaking, and he is in there. Touchdown, Ohio State. Dick Shafrath leading him through, and Bill Jopko. And Kremblis will try the point. It is good. Score. Ohio State, seven. Oregon, nothing. With 7.57 left, it is seven to nothing, Ohio State. Mel Allen. Frank Kremblis will boot it with Jim Shanley and Jack Morris waiting for it. And Morris takes it on the six. He's a sprinter and goes up to the 20. Oregon likes to go up the sideline. He got across the 25. No huddle now for Oregon. First and 10 on the 27-yard line. 
Jack Crabtree, the quarterback on a sneak, not going even into a huddle, and they're doing it again right now. As they have this pattern at second and eight on the 29 of Oregon, seven nothing Ohio State. Crabtree on an outside the belly series, giving it to the fullback Jack Morris, but he got nowhere. Charlie Turrible this time, the left halfback flanks left, the right end Ron Stover splits right, third and eight for Oregon. Crabtree's pass is completed beautifully to his right end at the 40. Ron Stover, the 197-pound junior, first and 10 on the Oregon 40-yard line. Galen Sisko, who is in the left linebacker spot, made the tackle. Jack Morris, the fullback, trying to get running room and fights his way to about the 45, and Shafrath, the right tackle, Marshall to left tackle. Second down and four for Oregon. Turbo flanks left and Crabtree on a handoff to Jim Shanley, their finest running back on a quick hitter. But the right end this time does not split. Secondary loosens up. Crabtree on the option keeps and dives across midfield to the Ohio State 49. In the right end, Baron Stover splits to the right. Against the 6-2-3 defense. A long count. And again, the quick hitter with Jim Shanley carrying. Morris and Shanley in behind Crabtree. Seven to nothing, Ohio State, first period. And the right halfback, Shanley, on a slant, trying the right side of the Ohio State line. It's third and five. Just about two yards to gain. They're going to take a run at it. That's a fourth down, make the third down coming up. There's Crabtree fading back. Ducks his arm, throws a pass down. Field is intercepted on the Ohio State 30 by Joe Calvino, and he stops immediately on the Ohio State 30 on the interception. Last time they touch you in the backfield with the end split wide to one yard. It's Crumbles up tight on the long count, calling his signals. Takes the ball and turns around on the stutter play. Hands it off to his fullback drop right through the left side goes Bob. Crumbles up tight under center with the tight in the backfield. Turns, pitches back to Clark, who gets down to a blocking. He's on the right side to break away on up to the 40. Hits the 40 yard line right of tackle. The fullback on the handoff right rips through the left side of the line from the 41 yard line up to about the 40 left end wide, about five yards. A man in motion in the backfield. It is right taking the ball on the handoff, driving over the 50 up to about the 47 yards. But he's way outside the right end, and on the fake pitch out and hand over to right to fullback. He's through the left side of the line again, trying to break into the field, but he moves down to about the 46 yard line. Swimming's on their second down coming up at about eight yards to go. They keep a tight tee in the backfield. The ball is taking the fake pitch back, and a kick by Kraplis. He takes off the left, rolls out towards the pass. Down on the first down field at the 35 yard line to Houston. The last state operating. There's the pitch back. It's Clark trying to turn the right side, get some downfield block into track. Sends a man, men off to the right plate. Pitching out and keeps himself safe back and still under on the 35. So he's 15 yards outside of left end. Ohio State on the Oregon 34. Send the quarter calling his signals, takes the ball, fades back, cocks his arm, puts his field over. There's a long one downfield. It's to the bow on the 10-yard line over his fingertips in the plate. He kicks the ball. It's a high kick going into the Oregon end zone. Into the Oregon end zone with about two uh, seconds left to play in the first period of the ball game. So that means a touchback in Oregon field. They take the ball and it's handed off on the cross spot to Willie West. Willie West coming through the right side of the line, moves over up to about his own 24 yard line. And that does it. That does it for the end. There is a fake center play and a pitch out to the right going down the left sideline and finally stitches over to the 40, moving up to the 45 yard line. He was in there, calling the signals now for Oregon. He takes the ball, slides along on the quarterback option, turns, pitches back. Again, it is their halfback. It's time at Shenley. Ball to be snapped back now on long count. It's grabbed the left hand in the center, takes the ball, face back. Puts his field over, cocks his arm, throws a shot pass downfield to the 45 yard line, Ohio State Territory. He's 15 yards outside of right end. The ball is taken. There's a big jump pass as the quarterback himself keeps that the up a little. Moves to the Ohio State 45 down to the 43 yard line. They send the flanker off wide to the right again. Send their left end wide. The ball is taken and kept. Then pitched out through the halfback center who's around the left side. Turns the corner on the far side of the field. Boost. Sends a flanker out wide to the right. Ball is snapped. Given to the quarterback. Quarterback over to Morris and through the line over the 20. Up to the first down, down the back. Half back, out wide to the right. Takes the ball, face back, cocks his arm, throws the pass. That's the footage down on the 
the red line. There's off the rush quarterback action play. He keeps it himself. He's five and he's five. Right of the line of scrimmage. Crabtree takes the ball. Quarterback option. Puts it back to Stanley. He's around the left side to the goal line. He's over. Snapped back now by center down Peterson. The kick, it is good. It's high. Good on Mr. Stover's whistle. The ball is booted high. It's an over end kick down to Clark on the three yard line. He takes it on the three, comes up the sideline on this side of the field. Picks up some downs here, walking into the 20. Gets away from two men. He's moved to the 25 on the far sideline and jumps on his own up past 27 yard line. By Center to call, takes the ball on the right, sir. Hands off to his fullback. It's right, driving through the right side of the line, moves over the 30 up and fights his way to the 35 yard line. The 35, Ohio State again putting its operation to the right key. A fumble, let's see who's recovered down there on the 35 yard line. A fumble on the handoff. Center takes the ball and on the right, sir. And to Clark through the right side of the line, goes Clark off his own right tackle, goes to the 39, hit and hit hard and drop on the 39 yard line. And they take it out, and the fullback is giving it on the semi drop play. It's right through the comes off in motion. There's a oh, pitch out. The ball kept by the left. He's through the right side of the line. Breaking the field goes down towards the 20. Hit at the 20 yard line on the far side lines and knocked down from behind. The ball is given to Clark on the handoff. He crosses over, tries his own right tackle, but moves to the line of scrimmage and gets just. Uh, signals under center, takes a pitch by, keeps himself, returns to the right side, to sneak through the right side of the line, picks up about two yards, and then he's knocked down on the far side line. University of Time, Rose Bowl, exhibition of collegiate football here this afternoon. Tight in the backfield, a big pitch out, rolling off to the left, the center, off his arm, throws the ball, it's a block, in flight, by number 85. Although, oh, again, there's a pass on the center, and he's going to start, up over here, Brown, it's incomplete. Jack Crabtree and every friend from Oregon. Side of the line of scrimmage, that's Stover. The ball is given and on the start of with Morris. The ball back up the middle to the 15 yard line, hit at the 15 and dropped on the 16 yard line. But Bill Jackson up the sideline again on the far side of the field. The ball is given to the fullback on the start of with Morris, born his way over the 20 to about the 21. Might be in the backfield all the way this time, and on the handoff play, it is fullback Morris to the middle of the line of 25. It is 25 by Jim Marshall, Leo Brown. And the quarterback option, Bradbury, he drops the left, takes the pitch back, and out, moves to his own 41, and knocks out of bounds by Dan Funk. They send the flanker out to the left, and on the big pitch out, it is the halfback, Shanley, trying to cross over, taking the hand off, and his quarterback moves over to about 30. On the draw play, it's fullback Morris handling, moving up to the line of scrimmage, left flag goes down on the field, and holds his way to his own 37. Tight T in the backfield. Crabtree turns and pitches back to Willie West, who tries to throw a pass, and it is knocked down and then grabbed in the air by Keeley, who holds onto the ball and moves up to the 30. There is a fake draw play, and it's quarterback Crabtree keeping him being knocked down behind the line of scrimmage. The red flag goes down on the field. And Trump is out of the huddle come to the line of scrimmage. It pitches back to West, who rolls wide around to the right post, pass down to the completed to put the yard line. the Ohio State 45. Draw play and the force up the middle for the Ohio State 30. That boy really killed him. 31. The ball is taken and on the draw play. It's Morris trying the center of the line and he gets no signals out. Takes the ball. Fumbles it as he attempts to pitch on. There's a free ball down there. Ohio State recovers it on their own 38 yard line as Dan Trump. Ohio State takes the ball and on the stutter play. And Ross, who pulls back right, lifts up the middle of the 50-yard line. Goes over into the Oregon Territory to the... On the... Good job. from the team. And it's Clark carrying the ball around the right side. Turns the corner, moves down to about the 15 yard There's a fake handoff, and keeping his cut with the two cross to the left, and cuts back over his own left tackle. Is a fake uh, sort of play handoff, and it's Trump is keeping the ball being bottled up for the moment. Back on the 30 yard line, still running, it's Trump's the sideline. And it's down by the last man as Trump is faced back and throws a pass to White, or intended to White on the 20. But the big fellow is able to get his hands on it. He was in the third and couldn't hold. Well, face back, it's being shot, knocked down. Back on the Oregon 44. Number 74 was in there, that's Mike Tucker. 
quarterback option play is being exercised now. The pitch out to Shenley. He's around the left side of the line. Moves to the 50. Hit it to 50. Goes to the 49. Ohio State territory. As things are moving to the left to right to sideline. The pitch back, however, comes to fullback Morris. He keeps his way up the middle to the 40. And fights at two men and goes to the 38. Jack Morris on the pitch out to cut back play. Moves to the 14. First down for Oregon. On the Ohio State 38-yard line. And that's... It's Ohio State 7, Oregon 7 at halftime. In the deep receiving positions, number 30, Jim Shanley, number 40, Jack Morris. Morris to the near side. Joe Schaffel is in there, along with Kirshner, uh, Peterson, Grotkow, and Linden. We are double-checking to see whether no, Mundell is still out. Wheeler and Stover. And 15 yards outside. Crabtree takes the ball, fades back. He's being bottled. Runs off to the right on the 10-yard line. Throws a pass down field. Completed on the 30-yard line. It is Stover, the short foot, the short as good to another pass from the Stover who nails it on the 43. But both clubs, the handoff to the fullback. Uh, it's Jack Morris trying to center the line. Crabtree takes the ball, fades off to the right, rolls out, takes throwing a pass, keeps, and finally does throw the ball, and it is intercepted by right halfback Joe Camino on the 48 yard line. It was intended for Stover who finally had to make the tackle. Danny Frazier in a quarter now for Oregon defensively. White on the give off. Bucks his way up to the 45 yard line. Now with the tight team in the backfield, the ball was taken by Kremble, spins and gives off to Clark, who touches to the left side of the line on a quick opening play and down to the 40 yard line. Number 71 in there to make the stop. Right on the split, the ball is given to White. Saves into the middle of the line, and I believe he may have made it. He takes the ball on the draw, hands it to Morris, yeah. and he's into the left side of the line, stopped by Chick Shafrat. Torville, as Crabtree fading back, and throws the pass, that is knocked down. With the blows, one of the Oregon Bucks gets a flanker on the tee. Crabtree takes the ball, fades back, makes no bones about it, he crosses his arm, throws a long pass down, he has completed. The 25 is Torville down on the... The ball is snapped. He fades off to the right corner back off when he keeps the move to the 40. He's in at the 40 and drops on the far side line by Canavino. The ball is taken, faked on the handoff. Crabtree fades. He's cut back to the line of the 49. Knocked down back there by White. He takes the ball, fakes the handoff, fades back, cocks his arm, looks, then throws downfield the handoff. The line of scrimmage. The ball is taken by Crabtree. A pitch out for Morris. He's around the right side. to the left is Torville. Oregon's ball on the Ohio State 20. 7-7 seven seven the score. Crabtree on the long count. Takes the ball. Quarterback option. He keeps. He slides off the right tackle. Moves up for two and is dropped hard. But Crabtree taking the ball. Fades. Looks his field over. Close to the flat on the side. It is Torville. Side. Crabtree takes the ball. Rolls back. Goes one downfield. It's almost the place of that strike. Ready for the ball to be snapped back. It'll be an angle from the 24-yard line. There is the boot. It is no good. The first play as he comes up tight on the center, takes the ball, takes the pitch up, and then hands off to White. who is stopped after picking up two at left guard. He moves to the 26. Eight yards to go. Dumbas takes the ball and pitches back to Clark. The halfback, he's wide around the left side of the body. Hit by three and out and finally drives his way to the there's a big pitch out and a hand over to White, fullback. Bob is into the center of the line, moves up to the 34 yards on the far side. There's a big pitch out again, it's White again on the roll, into the center he goes, the fullback goes to the 40. Hit it to 40 and sort of play in effect, the ball is given over to the fullback White, who is trying to pull his way through the goes to motion, the big pitch out to him, and White again. This time over the 50, he goes driving off right, takes the ball. Breaks off and again gets to White. There he goes again. Right to the middle of the line. Driving down to the... I see in the backfield again. And it's a give off to Clark who sneaks off the right side and cuts back over and drives him off left. Uh, as they face the time to the fullback, it's keeps by quarterback Tremblis and he's slowed under. Back and Tremblis 
Hands off again to the right. He pulls his way through the center. And when he hits that line, it's just like opening the floodgates. Everybody might be in the backfield. The ball is taken by Krempus. Pitch back to Clark. He swings to the right side. Hugs the sideline. They hit at the 21-yard line. Knocked out of bounds on the 21-yard line. Hey, that's the end. Then might be in the backfield. The ball is taken, take pitch out, White is the receiver, he takes the ball and up through the left side of the line, gets up to about the 18 yard line. The man in the motion to the right gives to White, who stumbles his way into the line as he tries to hit the ball. He might have picked up a half yard, and it was about it. He tried to do a mouse fail. The ball is snapped, Blake steals the boot. It is... sideline and Kremblis gives to his fullback Galen Sisko fighting his way for yardage to the 30. 10 minutes and 15 seconds left in the game. Leo Brown splits way out to the right and on the slant Don Clark the left halfback Kremblis on a keep Got plenty of daylight and goes to the 40 as tackle. The referee goes down as well, and Kremblis, after being tackled, falls forward to about the 41 or 2. Against a 4 5 defense. Fullback Galen Sisko banging his way up the middle. Again, the fullback, Galen Sisko, spinning and driving across midfield into Oregon territory. Ohio State's ball, first and ten on the Oregon 48, 10 to 7. Favor the Buckeyes, seven minutes and 50 seconds to go in the game. Fullback, Galen Sisko, driving up the middle. Which they just churn up the ground and eat up the yardage. Again, Galen Sisko, the senior fullback, a 203-pounder. Once again, Galen Sisko, the fullback, banging up the middle on the Oregon 38. Leo Brown splits out to the right. He's the right end. Joe Canavino, or rather, Galen Sisko, after a fake pitch out. Greg Altenhoffen in at right end for Oregon. It's second and eight. Don Clark. Unbalanced line. Strong to the left. against uh, about a 6-1 defense and we hear a whistle and uh, let's watch and see what happened. Guilty of uh, delay of the game taking too much time to get the playoffs up. Third and 13. Frank Kremblis keeping and he is piled up at the line of scrimmage for Oregon. 
And the kick is angled for the sideline and goes out of bounds. We'll find the spot that they mark it. Oregon has the ball first and 10 on its 17. Ron Stover's in at right end. And on a reverse, Turbo's trying to find running room and he runs hard to the 25 to the 26 yard line as time begins to run out. Four minutes left. Turbo, left halfback, flanks left, and Ron Stover, the right end, splits to the near sideline. The secondary is loose. Jack Morris, the fullback on the handoff, fighting his way, trying for the first down, picks it up. Charlie Turrible, the left halfback, flanks out to the left. Secondary is loose. Crabtree on the option, decides to keep and goes to the 35 before he is jarred and driven back. For Oregon, 10 to 7, Ohio State, now two minutes and 50 seconds. And again on that reverse, Turbo's going to throw. He does, and it is completed at midfield to Ron Stover. Joe Canavino made the tackle. And Crabtree is trying to quieten the crowd. And that's Phelps, flanked to the left, and Stover split to the right. As Crabtree tries to find somebody, and he throws, but it is incomplete, and an interference call at the 47-yard line. Alden Kimbrough, the intended receiver, Oregon quickly moving. And Stover splits to the right. And the secondary for Ohio State is mighty loose as they look for that pass. And here's a screen pass, and it is grabbed at midfield by Shanley. But he can't get uh, very far, and there's a marker thrown. A clip, I believe, against Oregon. Chuck Osborne in at fullback for Oregon, first and 29. Crabtree's pass to Stover again. And he's trying to go, and he gets past midfield to the Buckeye, 48. Second down coming up. And 11. A minute and 48 seconds left. 10 to 7, Ohio State. And Crabtree decides to run. He gets to about the 42. The Buckeye secondary all went back for 10 to 7, Ohio State. And the Webfoots are trying valiantly against the Buckeyes. A great play by Aurelius Thomas, or rather Jim Houston, the left end, number 84. The Buckeyes leading 10 to 7. It is fourth down and 12. And this is probably it for Oregon. Let's watch. Everybody is standing up now. And Crabtree throws, and it is incomplete at the 35. Ron Stover, the intended receiver. It was almost intercepted by Joe Canavino. The clock is stopped with 39 seconds left. A great try 